News today of what could be a major breakthrough in the fight against Alzheimer's. A promising new drug has been developed which could significantly slow down the disease. It's been created by a US pharmaceutical firm and used Australians in the trial of the drug. Professor Blossom Stephan is from Dementia Australia and Curtin University. Thanks for joining us. Now, dementia is one of the leading causes of death in Australia and with an ageing population, this news will be giving a lot of people some hope. Wonderful. Good afternoon and thank you for having me. It's really exciting results that we've seen come out of these trials and a 35% slowing in the progression of Alzheimer's disease giving hope to individuals currently living with this condition. How does it work? So we know that Alzheimer's disease is characterised by neuropathological changes in the brain, namely amyloid and um, tau. And, and, and amyloid is the earliest manifestation of the disease that we see in the brain. And this treatment targets amyloid by facilitating its removal from the brain. So it's, it prevents um, Alzheimer's uh, from, from setting in. But uh, prevention is one of those things that you don't know that you're preventing something. So how do you know that it's actually preventing it? This, is a, this isn't a cure. Um, it, it mainly slows progression of disease. So it, it's shown to clear amyloid, resulting in effect of a, of a um, slowing in progression to further more significant um, clinical symptoms. So delay, delaying the progression of the disease. So it, it, it can't be taken by those who are already um, fairly um, further along with their Alzheimer's um, journey? Can That's it reverse correct. the effects at all? No. So what we see is the trial was tested in individuals with what we call mild cognitive impairment and mild dementia, um, and, and those individuals showed to have the greatest benefit of the treatment. Um, so really, the earlier that the treatment is instigated within the course of dementia, the more likely we are to have a benefit outcome um, there, of the treatment. Are there any side effects? There are side effects. So the principal side effects are what we call amyloid-related um, imaging abnormalities which is um, swelling and bleeding, um, which can be significant and can be associated with um, death. So when we consider giving this treatment to um, individuals, we have to be very mindful of the risks that come with um, these kind of therapies. So have people uh, had an Alzheimer's diagnosis and then started this course of treatment, or can you take it before? No, this is regulated for use in individuals who already have a diagnosis within the early stages of, of their um, diagnostic journey. So how long before the drug could be on our shelves and available? So Eli Lilly have um, informed us that uh, the submission of um, approval in Australia is pending. It's just a matter of time of waiting for that to... for the government to make a decision about whether or not it's approved for use in, uh, in, use in Australia. And we're hoping that the sooner the, uh, the better... Excellent. Professor, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for your time.